Hello and welcome to Denslet, a channel for intelligent and curious people like you who are searching for human sexuality in the age of artificial intelligence. And you know, in this infographic uh, lab robot series, we are going to cover something uh, that is uh, really mind boggling because uh, we are going to discuss how with the help of super intelligence, uh, a robot, lab robot, we can call it also sex robot, uh, how it analyzes a constant stream of your personal data from your heart rate and micro expressions. Before we proceed, let me tell you one thing. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe. It means a lot to me. And if you have already subscribed, lots of thanks for your support. So, uh, it will ultimately uh, map out your entire digital history to know what you want before you even do it. So, that is uh, our uh, discussions uh, topic today. Uh, so, imagine a future robotic partner that does not just respond to your requests but anticipates your deepest unspoken desire and it leads to you somewhere where you want to go in its body now while the, uh, now this web page first of all let me just uh, show you the web page first this algorithmic butler i have uh, named it and how does it know there are a lot of analysis and there are radar chart pie chart everything is there and I am going to just clarify a little bit about it before we uh, dig deep into this uh, these charts. Basically, now you, you, you can say that uh, uh, when a robot uh, perfectly understands your needs, it sounds like a dream, isn't it? It sounds like a dream, but at the same time, it also raises a critical question is this partnership or the most sophisticated uh, manipulation or a real real good relationship why is this question i am asking because in this web page uh, which uh, you will uh, you can see uh, because the link is given in my description below and i usually keep this web pages in my github repository so that you can see the see this web page in your browser and read it not only read it but you can also analyze data okay because uh, first the first question is how does it know isn't it how does it know that is the first question that is the hook the promise of a perfect partner so so it's a very big and bold statement that it will be it could be a perfect partner not only a, not a perfect puppet but it could be a perfect partner how it works first of all you can see the data funnel and ai uses for decision making it, because biometric it is getting your heart rate and cortisol hormones movements then micro expressions that that means fleeting forms your eye movements your lip movements your uh, every gestures very small minute gestures digital footprint you are uh, what you are searching what you are uh, seeing over the web uh, what type of chats you are uh, doing with your friends, uh, what kind of things you are searching over the internet, everything, your digital footprint, okay. In a sense, search history, okay. And then, then vocal tone, that means uh, subtle uh, hesitation, if it comes, if, if it grips you a fear or something like that. So, super, all together, this data, gets you to the super intelligent predictive analysis that means this one okay and from there you 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 can uh, you can just think of your robot which will uh, take the correct action now the what the question is question is partnership is it a partnership or is it a manipulation because there are a lot of things first of all true autonomy if a robot that means when an ideal human partner uh, reaches true autonomy you can see in, if you just uh, uh, just hover your mouse uh, over this point 
you can see that true autonomy that means ideal human partner is 8 out of 10 okay in that case our uh, algorithmic uh, butler uh, that means whether it could be a perfect partner or perfect puppet it is only 2% at present at present okay and if you come to predictability it is now 10 out of 10 remember out of 10 because at present this robot has no sentience so therefore it is predictable fully predictable and convenience is also 10 out of 10 for the robots for the present robots whereas for for the human partners it is only 7 out of 10 and for predictability because humans are unpredictable it is only 5 out of 10 and efficiency of course 9 out of 10 for the robot partners the present robot partners and for the humans it is only 6 okay out of 10 so therefore an emotional spontaneity emotional spontaneity for uh, human partners of course it will be much much bigger than the uh, present robot partners it is 9 out of 10 this is 9 9 out of 10 whereas the robot partner is, it is only 3 because it has no sentience it has no emotional complexity but the road to super intelligence which we are curious to know whether the road to super intelligence will be possible or not now we can see that by 2035 that means in 10 years you see that humanoid robots dexterity dexterity that means this one this graph will reach 95 percent but in 10 years 95 percent it will be it will be very agile very smart very clever dexterity is superb 95 percent and if you general ai reasoning if you take that it will be almost it is 99 percent almost 100 percent which is which is which is mind-boggling and finally we affected computing accuracy we'll talk about it later of course in our future videos it is now at 40 percent 2025 and it will reach 98 percent in 10 years therefore in 10 years we can assume that super intelligence will be achieved okay and it will make humanoid robots or lab robots or sex robots whatever you want to say it it will make almost like almost human like and that will of course create different types of problems the anatomy of a choice will be there so the ultimate question is uh, who is the master because the one who feels the desire or one who can create it that means a super intelligent human and robot can uh, create desire inside you by leading you to some extent uh, to some kind of feelings and uh, to some kind of uh, a level uh, to some level of consciousness where you can feel the desire okay and the human and robot partner will help you to achieve that so uh, that is today's topic and i i hope uh, you enjoyed this topic and of course you can see this web page read this matter whole thing and uh, compare this flowchart and everything to have a greater picture better greater perspective uh, in my and the link is given in my description below so that is it thank you for joining us on this journey let's continue this conversation in the comments below if you like the video please hit the bell icon to get notified and don't forget to like with your friends share and subscribe for more insights if you have already subscribed tons of thanks for your support it means a lot to me and please consider signing up for membership zone to support wooden slate so that we can make it better and better see you in the next video till then goodbye take care and stay safe